Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name is Chris. I'm the Batman statue collector, and clearly I am in the Bat Bunker, and I wanted to give you guys a update because there's a big update. Uh, very, very excited. Of course, last time we were together, I showed you all of the, uh, the stud work that was being put in. Well, now I'm going to show you over here because here we go. Big reveal. We've got some of the shelving in. Um, I'm going to kind of go to a wide shot. Oh, that's way too close. Sorry about that. Uh, a wide shot to kind of show you um, this main wall here. Um, so obviously uh, what they're going to do is they are going to drywall this all in, but they are going to do MDF uh, for the actual tops of the shelves. Uh, just to give you an idea. So that's an eight foot span, eight foot span, uh, eight foot span. And again, I've put that uh, premium format right there uh, just to kind of show you, you know, how much space I'm going to have. Uh, for all my quarter scales. There's also going to be LED lighting uh, in each one, uh, probably color changing. Um, I'm also going to, in the middle here, uh, put a, uh, you know, t equipment for TV. You know, if I want to put a TV in this space, I can. It's going to be flex spacing, basically, and then uh, more room for, for, you know, things down here. Um, I even thought about, you know, kind of like recreating my old sideshow display, you know, where they were all kind of surrounding Batman. Uh, I thought about maybe doing that right here. Um, and then these would be prime one. That's, you know, maybe prime one quarter scale. This would be all the sideshow down in here, maybe. Um, and then doing maybe the samurai line over here. Um, or I could put the bat bike in one of these, you know, the, the XM bat bike. I don't know. Uh, we'll kind of wait and see. But again, I just kind of wanted to show you, I'm kind of back up here and show you the amount of space that I have. And that's basically just going to be for quarter scales. Okay. Um, so that is that update. So my original plan was actually going to be to do along the walls garage shelving. And the reason why I wanted to do garage shelving uh, basically was to have flexibility to be able to improvise. Of course, I run a YouTube channel. I'm also a collector that's constantly having things coming in and out of his back cave. And so I wanted a flex space. Um, and it was actually my wife, actually, she said, you know, she saw this, she saw this back here, this giant built in. And she said, why don't we do that to the sides? Why don't we do something similar to the sides as well? That way it looks complete. It is a complete built in. Okay. And let me again show basically. So this is what I'm thinking now is to actually um, do built ins that go all the way to maybe like here and all the way here. Um, it's basically going to be like four inches on the, on the bottom. And then it's going to come up about like this. Okay. Or maybe like that. And then there'll be another, I'm trying to think of exactly how tall it was, but it was like, basically there'd be a, a top shelf right here and then everything above it would be open, but it would be very similar to what I have now, um, in the back cave. So I would have all this open space here for third scales but also still have enough space down below for third scales as well. The ones that are maybe not quite as tall. It'll be like 37 inches down here. Uh, I think like 45 inches up tall, up top um, for, for like pieces like the Fabok Batman, let's say. So that would give me, you know, two basically full rows for third scale and two full rows for third scale over here on this side. Um, and then of course I would have all of this center space for flex. Um, to set up the table for reviews, um, to build my own podiums. I thought about doing a couple of rows of podiums, uh, maybe a bigger podium or maybe even like a, you know, a, a couch back here or something like that or a theater chair so I could sit there and watch TV if the TV is up there. Um, I've also, again, thought about doing a, a TV on this wall. Um, but this wall is not going to be touched. Like this one will be drywalled in, but this is basically going to be, there's not going to be built-in shelving or anything like that. I'm probably going to put my desk, my review desk, maybe some of the movie pieces will be over here, like the bus, um, like the Joker, maybe Batman flanked on the sides of the desk. I don't know, maybe a TV up there. Time will tell. Uh, of course, I'm going to build that cove going in here. It's going to have some art. And this, this wall also could have a lot of my art on it. Um, time will tell. I'm, not, I'm not, not exactly sure, but I do like the idea of, you know, just having all of this incredible amount of space here. Um, and I, I, I talked to my friend Dan because, again, uh, we, we've talked a lot about the fact that, you know, when it comes to this stuff, 
you want to be flexible. You want you don't really want to have built-ins. But he said with this space, it's such a large space that built-ins would work just fine here, and it would look like one cohesive unit. Again, this would be all open up here for the tall, taller statues, the all third scale, third scale down below with a, with a four inch lip down below. Uh, they would give it off the ground a little bit. Same on this side. Again, what happens is, and the reason why we're doing this, um, or even again, is because of, um, you know, when I think about the garage shelves, <clears throat> the biggest issue was that the bottom, the bottom part of the garage shelf is only 30 inches tall. So it wouldn't accommodate the third scales, or very few of them. So I would be forced to put quarter scales, but I already have my quarter scale display here. I could also fit third scales. Some third scales will also fit here. Um, you know, not real tall ones, but I could put some third scales as well. But my, my plan is to put right now a uh, quarter, maybe my life-size bust, my Batman and Joker life-size bust would go there. You know, time will tell. But when again, when I was thinking about the garage shelving, it just wouldn't accommodate near as many third scales. So I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a good idea to do built-in shelves along the sides? Again, it'll be open on the top, kind of open on the bottom. It'll be, you know, basically it'll be just two really long shelves. Um, again, let me see. So again, imagine one shelf here, and then, you know, it would come to an end cap, um, like right here. There's the outlet. It'll come to like an end cap right here. Uh, it'll be about 18, 18 inches deep, give or take, and then that's gonna go straight. So again, all of this will be display space. And then what we will do is we will drywall this section in so it all looks cohesive. You know, this will all be drywalled in. <clears throat> so I will lose a little bit. I'll lose a little bit of this open space, probably about this much. Um, so it'll be like that instead of the full eight feet. So, you know, you can imagine then the shelf just coming out like that. And the same thing on that end. I would lose a little bit there. It comes straight out like that. Uh, probably go to uh, about here or so, I would leave me a little bit of room. Of course, that's the door clearance, opening the door. Um, so, you know, I could still put something like a little pedestal or something there if I wanted to. But again, let me kind of just give you the full, kind of the full effect of the room of how it's coming. Um, pretty exciting uh, stuff for sure, but I do want to hear your thoughts. Let me know uh, what you guys think about the idea of the built-ins on the side instead of doing the garage shelving. And then I would do some custom pedestals potentially in the middle. Um, maybe even with wheels that I can kind of move things around, be a flex space for when I do my reviews. Maybe the newest pieces are going to be on display there and then eventually they'll move over to the sides. Um, but again, it's very, very exciting. Again, it's just cool to see some of these statues, kind of like what it could look like in place um, when it's all said and done. But it's very, very exciting. Again, big progress here in the back cave, but I did want to update you. Again, let me know what you think about the side, um, the sides, or if you think I should just do the garage shelving. Uh, again, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm going to keep you updated on this back cave renovation. It's very, very exciting. Uh, it's just a dream come true. Expensive, but a dream come true. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon in the Batcave. Bye, everybody.